You may be thinking about making a move to the Dallas-Fort Worth area or within the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And if so, this video is for you. We're gonna talk about where is the DFW housing market going? Where's it moving? Where's the momentum? You know, where are we basically built out and the opportunities kind of come and gone? We're the emerging opportunities. We're going to get into it. We'll be all over the place in this video. Comment below if I missed something or if you're looking for a different area I don't mention, check out our other videos, but let's get after it. One of the most popular regions of our region is really the North Dallas corridor, right? So there's Fort Worth to the West. You can see the map behind me, Fort Worth over here, Dallas to the East, tons of small towns in between and around and even some in inside landlocked inside the bigger cities major major momentum north of dallas really some of the most popular suburbs for the last 30 years plano texas being one of the most well known but you've got plano allen richardson uh, you're even getting up into smaller communities that sort of fringe on those side where we've got Lovejoy and Fairview and pockets of Dallas that really have their own unique identity like Lake Highlands and things like that. But this North Dallas corridor has been really, really popular for a long, long time. And I expect will always be really, really popular. But it's interesting. Some of these cities for the very first time are having to face the fact that they're not new or up and coming anymore. So for example, Plano has been one of the hottest suburbs in North America for 30 plus years. And it's just not new and fresh anymore, especially along sort of that 75 Central Expressway corridor that is no due north of Dallas, Texas. East Richardson, I mean, East Plano feels a little bit older because it is a little bit older. Kind of that central Plano area is going through that period where the roads aren't terribly old, but they need a little bit of work and they're, they're getting that work but they're old enough to need a little bit of work. And then West Plano, which is almost entirely finally built out, is not yet completely built out, but it's the newer part, but it's not as new as some of the newer development just north of it in Frisco. So there's some things to think about. And, and a lot of that applies to Allen and Richardson both. Some of it is exactly the same, where East side feels a little bit older, West side's developed a little bit more. You've got some smaller things on the East side, larger things on the West side. But again, that initial corridor right there north of Dallas, the very first city that is not Dallas is Richardson. And then you hit Plano, and then you hit Allen, and then you hit McKinney. There's a few little smaller towns off to the side we've got videos on the channel about, but I believe that corridor will continue to grow. But the new growth, you know, if you've been around, it's obvious. If not, it has to go north. These cities are almost entirely built out. There's just almost no available land left. And if there is, it's it very, very, very little of it is residential. So there's still a little bit of room for some infill commercial or retail, maybe even a little industrial residential neighborhoods, townhomes, condos, apartment complexes. There is very, very little remaining land, specifically in Richardson and Plano, a little bit more in Allen, but not a whole lot more. So that corridor will continue to be hot. Uh, oftentimes that's because of location, proximity to other really amazing things and their school districts. Now, if you think about some of the up and coming areas, uh, we can talk about some of the fringes of the Metroplex, areas that have recently begun to really, really build out. Farther north on the Dallas side, areas that used to feel like they were way, way out on the edge, like Sherman, Melissa, even areas like Princeton, uh, Lucas. These are, obviously these cities have been there for a long time, but the boom in construction with many, many, many more acres to grow on, those are becoming some of what you may consider some of these up and coming areas. To the West, when we think about Fort Worth, communities like Benbrook have been there forever, but have really blown up in the last 10 or 20 years and are almost entirely built out. So we're seeing emerging communities like Alito, which again, Alito has been there for a while, but Alito was a small town that's really rapidly becoming a large community. Walsh Ranch and some areas to the West of Fort Worth that are really blowing up. Weatherford used to be used to feel like it was the far western edge of North Texas, and it's really, 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 really growing up, and there are more and more towns popping up even farther west of that. Frisco, you've seen us do many videos on. If you haven't, go check those out. Frisco used to be an, a, a suburb on the far northern edge. It's now becoming its own population center, really, maybe not technically, but realistically with its own suburbs to the north. So you're seeing cities like Prosper and Salida and, you know, Salida and things like that that really have their own rapid growth trajectory and they're 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 spurring off other burgeoning areas 
of their own. Frisco is going to continue to be a massively talked about, highly desirable area because of corporate uh, relocations and headquarters and new development because of sports and retail and restaurants and available land and access to lakes and travel and all these crazy things. If you haven't seen our video, there's lots of Frisco videos, but the one that seems to be getting a lot of traction is the one that talks about how Frisco may potentially be the new center of North Texas, meaning everything south of Frisco is the south side. Frisco becomes the middle and then massive growth to the growth to the north. If you had come to Dallas 50 years ago, you would have felt like Dallas is kind of the center. There's a little bit of growth all around. And then that growth trickled north and went predominantly north, east, and west with less development to the south. It's grown and connected all the way to Frisco, almost all the way to Oklahoma. And I think you're just going to continue to see that go north where Frisco has become really one of the largest, most poised for massive growth areas. And therefore, we may be doing a video in 10 years from now about how Texoma on the border of Texas and Oklahoma is the new Frisco and it's it's exploding. So we're talking about rapid growth all the way to the to the Oklahoma border, which is the far northern edge of Texas, southern edge of Oklahoma. Again, if we want to go back to the Fort Worth side, the the space in between Fort Worth and Dallas that you can see behind me on the map is is more developed than this map may give it. Um, it's almost entirely filled in. You've got DFW Airport basically dead center. The massive amount of growth that's happened and 360 degrees of that airport um, has, has almost been constant since the mid-90s. We had a little bit of a slowdown in development after the 2008-9 you know, eco economic crisis, slowdown, whatever you want to call it. But man, did we pick up steam after that. And if we filled in almost, it seems like there have been cranes everywhere for 30 years. Now I could obviously talk about areas of DFW for hours and hours and hours. And we have on many other videos on the channel. So go check those out. But if I was looking for a little inside scoop, if I was looking for something that maybe not everybody knows about or a way to make a move to this market and not follow the masses, I would be looking for some of these smaller, but rapidly growing communities on the edge of the Metroplex. They're really in 360 degrees of the Metroplex, primarily due east and due west of Dallas and Fort Worth. So you got communities like Wiley that used to be kind of the sleepy little, you know, country cow town on the edge that's now rapidly developing lots of retail and shopping and has direct access to the lake. On the west side, communities like Alito or to the southwest communities like Granbury or even Glen Rose that have been thought of as the far edge that are really developing everything you could need from retail, movie theaters, shopping malls, all these things that it used to be, those communities would drive into the big city to get. Now they've got great school districts, you know, really, really pretty natural surroundings with lakes and, and some hilly area. I mean, there's just a lot, but I would look at some of those areas. And then if you're going to think about going North, I already said earlier in the video, that growth is going to continue all the way to Oklahoma. So take your pick on Sherman, Melissa, Justin, Prosper, and even some towns that don't even show up on this map because at the moment they're very, very small with the economic growth, the corporate headquarter growth, and just the simple natural location population growth of our location. Those areas are going to be almost dead certain to increase in property value as well as lifestyle value, meaning all the things you may want in a community are either there or rapidly coming, but they're not there yet. And that's the opportunity for you to maybe get in early, maybe get a larger lot, maybe get a little bit more home for your money, uh, maybe get into a, a, a school district that later may be very difficult. We've got a lot of that going on in our area. Any of these areas can be really complex and tricky to navigate if you're figuring out a move. If we can help you, let us know. We've got agents all over the Metroplex with an office in Fort Worth and one in the Dallas side. We'd be thrilled to help you get to know the area and find the best opportunity for you and your family. And I'll talk to you on the next one.